Good evening, sleepers. The studio is safe for relaxation and comfort. I hope you will enjoy. The school year is almost over. I can't believe how slow time felt. It was torture at that point, and all those exam and paper to give. Well, yeah, I was excited to finish school before because I wanted to leave this town, but now I I just want to marry the love of my life and start my life with you. So each day felt like forever to me. Did you get good grades and all? What? You, you will be the valedictorian at the graduation ceremony? No, no, of course not. I'm proud of you. You had that quickly and did an amazing job. All of this hard work paid off. You, you're incredible. Congrats, love. Me? Well, I pass. Uh, don't worry, I got good grades. All this time that I wasn't able to see you because you were studying well. I was actually doing it too, and I knew I would not be able to stay away from you any longer, so I had to make sure I had nothing to repeat. I can't let my fish arrive do all the work after all. Well, about that. At first I thought I was going to fly solo, do my own thing without any help and prove the world how good I am, but thanks to you, I feel much closer to my old folks. I was planning on starting my own accessory and jewelry brand, but I talked to my parents and we made plan for me to become an affiliate. I mean, we, we have some brand clothing, so adding some accessories to it just makes sense. And that way I get to stay close to my family, make my own thing, and show the world what I'm made of. Don't worry, I work hard for this. It's not because I'm daddy's son that stuff work out in the end. Yeah, being closer to them made me see that I should be working with them and not spit on their efforts. Some dumb pride I had when I was a kid. One that I just wanted to show them that since they never helped me before, I could surpass them, but in reality, I've just been angry at them for not being with me enough for my taste. That was dumb since I actually never told them before, so they had no idea. But a simple phone call and they come running to us. You made me grow as a person, my love, and I will forever be grateful for helping me pave the way to my career and you know that as long as we're together you will never have to work right no it's fine of course you can I also want you to blossom and feel as if you did something meaningful in life I just I can offer you a plan B and even a plan C so you have nothing to worry about come closer I want you in my arms so yeah, whatever happened, I'm on your side, always, and with school out of the way, we can think of stuff that truly matters. Yeah, yeah, school was important or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Now we can prepare for our wedding. Uh, I've been dreaming of this for so long. Even before you proposed to me, uh, I was thinking about this and, well, you went and did the first move. Quite bold, and I love this from you. I know a good wedding planner in town. I'm sure you will love them. Well, my parents renew their vows each five years, and they take the opportunity to invite business partner, mingle with the townsfolk, and just to have a great time together. It's almost like a tradition in a small city, and those planners always did an amazing job. Yeah, they are quite cute, and meld in love with each other. So, even if it's not for a full wedding ceremony, they still do amazing parties, so... As I said, we could check with them first. If you dislike them, well, we can always look somewhere else. That's no problem. Also, with school being over, I, I would really want to do something cool with you. We shall go on a date, the both of us. Do something big that we will remember forever. Mm. 
how about we go to the next state and visit this famous amusement park? Oh yeah, that one, you know it. I always wanted to try those grandiose attractions and he also told me how great it would be to go there. Since this is supposed to be the greatest amusement park in the whole world, I feel like this would be a perfect way to end the year with a bang. We can even rent a room and sleep over in a castle. Oh, and talking about sleep, let me tell you, I'm not planning on letting you sleep at all tonight. Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sure you even realize that something has been poking you for a while and it's not my belt buckle. It's been too long since we had some free time together alone and I'm growing restless. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. I got them right here. A whole box of them. I don't want to run out like last time. It was quite disastrous after all. Hmm. You know, I can't wait to claim every last part of your body as mine, but not now. We have a few matters to take care of first, but the instant we're both ready, I'll take a day off and meet with you over and over again until your legs gives out, that you lose motion of time, and that the only thing you care about is just get even more of me. I'll make sure we never forget the night we met our children. I'll even change to my verbal form if you wish. I know too well how much you like it when I take you like the monster I am. Do you like what you see? This is all for you. Every corner, every inch, all of my body is there to make you quiver and ask for more. I can't wait to satisfy you, darling. Do you want to go into the bedroom or will you rather stay here in the kitchen? Oh my, you want to start here and finish at the bedroom? Quite the naughty idea. I love you so much, sweetness. Let me remove your clothes. You're like a gift that I can't wait to see, but that I want to make sure it doesn't get damaged. And each time I look at you like this, I remember how simply beautiful and how much I'm attracted to you. It's as if my memory was unable to remember such perfection, so I am in horror each time. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's the truth. You are an amazing woman, and every time I see you, I find you even more gorgeous than the last time I laid my eyes on you. Hmm. There is one thing too that I will never forget and it's my love for you. Also, don't worry so much about scratching my back. I got slashed by a bear and the wounds are all gone already. It's not as if your nail will leave any mark on me. You can be as rough as you want with me and don't worry about it. Just like you. I quite enjoy it. Thank you for listening up to the end. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and that you had fun with it. I am giving you some extra time to pause the video or close the page in case YouTube decides to put an ad without my knowledge. Have a good evening.